Things are changing fast in this digital world, so much so that a growing number of businesses will not even accept cash anymore. Yeah, they are starting to set up reverse ATMs. It quickly turns cash into a prepaid debit card to be used on the fly. And Dre Clark explains from New York City. Dre, I've never heard of this. Mitch has never heard of this. What's it about? Eh, yeah, you know, I never heard of it either until I read about it last night. Uh, it's relatively new, but it's uh, slowly but surely catching on. You know, cash is really still king. But reverse ATMs are definitely the way of the future as more businesses look for ways to go cashless. Here at Madison Square Garden in Midtown Manhattan, they already have machines inside the arena that can actually convert your cash into a debit card here. Now, here you can see exactly how it works. You load money into a kiosk like you see here, and within seconds, you can get a receipt confirming your conversion and a prepaid active card. Many of the prepaid cards are either MasterCard or Visa, and you can use them anywhere where those cards are accepted. Some kiosks may actually charge you a $5 fee uh, for the card. Meanwhile, amusement parks, fast food restaurants, and many professional sports venues are already using the cash to card kiosks, and you'll start seeing more of them uh, in airports and on college campuses. Business owners say they like the kiosk because it helps prevent theft and robberies and it stops the spread of germs that can really be found on a lot of money that's downright dirty. Now, many people started going cashless during the pandemic uh, because they did not want to touch money and coins, fearing uh, they could contract the virus. Meanwhile, cities across the country, like San Francisco, D.C., Philly, and New York, they actually have bans on cashless uh, businesses. So business owners, by law, cannot refuse to accept any cash from a customer. Also, get this, the FDIC says up to 5% of U.S. households or 6 million Americans are considered unbanked. That means they don't have either a checking or savings account. They prefer to deal in strictly cash. So, yeah, guys, it's relatively new, uh, but here in New York City and other places around the country, this is the way of the future. Send it back to you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.